What are you doing touching my book? I'm Athena, the great Greek goddess of wisdom and war, not the kids of Ares, that bloodthirsty monster. He goes into war for fun to kill mortals. Well, I like to strategize and only kill when absolutely necessary. Strategy always beats strength. Oh, did I mention I'm super duper smart? The most intelligent on Mount Olympus, which is the home of the great gods. I was even smart from birth, though you'd think I'm dumber coming from my father's brains. My father was Zeus, the king of the gods, and I'm his favorite child. Which makes sense, considering I was born out of his head. Yeah, it sounds a little weird, but, well, it is pretty weird. Zeus, my father, ate my mother, Metis. If you haven't heard Zeus' story yet, his father, Cronus, swallowed his siblings because of the curse, and Zeus wanted to make sure that wouldn't happen with my mother, Metis. So he took her to the oracle. The oracle said that if Metis had a son, he would overthrow Zeus. Zeus got scared, so he swallowed her whole while she was pregnant. She gave birth inside of him, to me, not a son, and I swam to his head, giving him really bad headaches. Eventually, he asked my half-brother, Hephaestus, to split his head open. Not the best headache relief for. Out I popped. Somehow, in full battle armor. That's how I was born. I guess that doesn't really explain why you shouldn't touch my book. Well, this book is about a particular city. I have a good story to tell about that city. If you didn't know, I really like cities, and also I'm the goddess of cities, though less so than my other titles. I love to particular the city, which we would just call City for now, so it's not to spoil the surprise. And so did my uncle Poseidon. We decided to have a contest. I could have just taken it, but I played fair. Whoever could create the better gift would get City. I created the great olive tree, and Poseidon created a fountain. Obviously, I won. And they changed their name to Athens after me, made me their main god, and built the Parthenon, which is a giant temple dedicated to me. The Parthenon used to have a great statue of me called Athena Parthenus, which unfortunately is not around today because some idiot did something with it while I was on vacation. I think it was either Ares or Poseidon. Both of them are idiots. Anyway, this book is about Athens' architecture. Pretty cool, right? Oh, look, there's a spider on the ground. If you didn't know, I turned arachne into a spider, which led to people like you having arachnophobia or a fear of spiders. Next time you look at one of those eight-legged beasts, imagine it as a bragging lady. Yep, yeah, don't brag. Well, I'll turn you into a spider. I could turn you into all sorts of things for any sin, even disrupting my reading. That you could leave before I turn you into a new monstrous 